Okay, so today we're working on a 2002 Honda Accord. It has a leaking fuel tank. The fuel tank is installed above the rear subframe. So we're going to drop the subframe today. I'm just looking at the best way here. I've undone the lower shock bolts on each side um, so the shock can stay with the body. We'll disconnect the ABS wires and brake hoses and possibly the brake cables. I'm not sure. I might just drop the subframe enough to and leave it supported on the jack stand because the gas tank is quite low on fuel so it shouldn't be that heavy. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and drop the exhaust too. So we'll pick it up when we get a little further along the way. Okay, so the fuel pump assembly is accessed through a access hole in the trunk uh, after you remove the uh, trunk liner. Uh, disconnect the clip on the wiring harness and pull it straight off. Squeeze the two tabs on the brake, uh, brake the fuel lines and carefully push them off. Be aware that the pressure line will have some residual fuel pressure in it so be ready to catch that with a rag. Now those lines will stay with the body and the gas tank will hopefully drop down afterwards. Okay, so rather than trying to take apart the front joint on the pipe, we cut the pipe all joined together with a piece of, of uh, exhaust tube. Uh, Remove the muffler assembly, disconnected the brake hoses. I'm going to have to replace the brake lines that go between the hose and the, the wheel cylinder up there. And I've got the tranny jack ready to support this. There are four subframe bolts, one here, one here, and the same on the other side. And then the whole subframe should drop down. I'm hoping the brake cables are long enough that I can just leave the subframe on the transmission jack because disconnecting the cables up inside the body will not be five minutes. We'll try anyways. Okay, so lower the subframe about four or five inches with the tranny jack, and then you can get at the uh, filler pipe. I've loosened off the clamp. We're gonna have to put a new clamp there, and the vent hoses and stuff have a little bit of uh, length to them, so we should be able to drop the assembly a little bit further to access the top of the vent hoses. Uh, how are my park brake cables doing? Look okay. There's a clip. Back here, where the vent lines attach to the tank, it's all rusty anyways. The straps are rusted on it. And you can see here, the straps just sitting there. But I have new straps. So we'll continue to drop this assembly so that we can access the top of the tank. So with the tank dropped about a foot and a half, you can reach up here and you can disconnect the vent lines, the fuel lines that are already disconnected inside the tank or inside the trunk. Be careful not to break those plastic nipples. And this particular line here is released by squeezing those two ears on there. There's two depressing ears on there. It's hard to see in the light right there. Push those two pins in or those two squares in and pull it off. Now I've just cut the straps because they're rotten anyways and I've capped the filler pipe so that I can lift this tank out of here. I don't think it's that heavy. It's not that full, so we'll see. So there's a little bit more gas in it than I thought uh, and it was a little bit too heavy to lift by myself and a little bit awkward. I've got this tied down to the tranny jack so it won't fall off but nevertheless I tried to put a siphon hose through the filler pipe but it has a check valve in there to prevent siphoning. So I figured the tank is rotten anyway so I just punched a hole in the tank with a, with a round punch. No electric drill obviously and I'm just siphoning out some of the gas into a can. Well, there's the tank on the floor, and I've siphoned most of the gas out, but there's still a little bit in there, and you can see the spot in the corner here where obviously it's uh, compromised. You see when I tilt it, it starts to seep out of the rust in that corner. So now the challenge is to get the uh, sending unit out and the, the, the vent out and then reassemble it, as well as removing those broke, those rusted bolts in the subframe here. Oh well, here we go. 
I find if you hit each one of the bolts with a hammer, knock the rust loose, and then use one of these reverse extractors, they work pretty good to remove the bolts. Once they crack loose, they usually come out. A little down pressure on the bolt, and then it will remove. So we'll uh, get this fuel pump out and transfer it over to the other tank. So there's the original pump and retaining ring installed back into the new tank. This locating dowel, rubber dowel, goes on this spot on the tank and the pump must be facing this orientation. There's little uh, plastic ears that line it up. Um, use some silicone uh, dielectric grease on the seals and I've wire brushed them. I'm going to give them a coat of paint after I connect the lines so that it slows down any future rust. Should be good to go. Okay, so we got the tank back in, exhaust back up. Splice the exhaust with a piece of pipe. Installed new brake lines. Bread led the brakes. And I gotta put the fuel in the tank now. Fuel pump's connected. Put the fuel in the tank and uh, should be should be good to go.